All right, so I just picked up the Sony a7 IV and I reached out to the local tech rep and he said, make sure that I download the new firmware version 1.01. .01. So I wanted to do some digging and he did warn me that it would take a little while. So let's take a look and see what are the benefits for 1.01. .01. When I spoke to him, he said it's the biggest, um, the biggest change was this improving the accuracy of the eye autofocus. Um, so that was one thing. And then also the operational stability. So I'm going to go through and kind of walk through, um, how to do this upgrade. Now, normally you would be able to put it on a memory card in order to do this update. Uh, but because of the size of this, it's like 800 and some megabytes, which is, which is pretty large. Uh, you actually have to download it um, from your local support site and then, um, install the firmware, um, via the USB cable that came with your, um, camera. So if you click on this link and I'll put a link in the description as well, it takes you over to the Sony.com website that has the, um, update here. Now I'm on a PC, so I'm going to go ahead and download this, um, version here for windows and we're going to go ahead and hit download. We're going to accept our um, EULA, our end user license agreement. Um, and now the reason I didn't sign in beforehand, um, I wanted to um, kind of show you what you might see. Now, a lot of people will either create an account and download, but you can go over here and click without an account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to save it, save it right to my desktop. And you can see here, yep, it's 795 megabytes. So we'll go ahead and let that download. Okay, so that is now downloaded. So the next step is to make sure that your A7 IV has a new fresh battery, which I just took one off the charger. And then you wanna use the original cable that comes with your Sony A7 IV. And, and the reason that they say that is because they wanna make sure that it's not just a regular uh, USB-C to USB. Um, so if you look up USB, -O, oops, USB, 3.0 you'll actually notice that these cables they actually are blue on the inside so if even if you don't maybe you misplaced your cable make sure you find one that's at least usb 3 that goes to usb c or if it's a usb c to usb c cable make sure it has enough throughput in order to um you know be at those usb 3.0 speeds okay so we'll go ahead and grab that download oops Go to our downloads, we'll open that file. So it's gonna go through and extract this or unzip this update file, okay? So while that's doing that, I'm gonna plug in my cable to my computer. Make sure that's right next to my camera. My, ca my camera is currently turned off because when it comes to USB-C or USB that for that matter and devices, you wanna follow the instructions step-by-step, step, okay? So don't plug your camera in ahead of time if it doesn't tell you to. So uh, with, you know, especially with like printers and stuff like that, it'll tell you exactly when to um, plug in the camera or what to do. So here we can see um, that we need to turn on our camera, okay? And then we are going to select, select a USB connection from the actual setup menu. Uh, so I will go through and you'll be able to see that. Um, so we're going to go to menu and then we're going to go to our setup. And we're going to go to USB. And then what it says is put it on mass storage setting. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on MSC. Okay. And now I'm going to connect this camera to the actual computer. Okay. So it's in that mass storage mode and then I'm going to plug it in, in the USB-C port. Okay. So now that it has that, I'm going to go ahead and hit next, verifying the connection, making sure it's working. Um, which it is, it says, please wait. Verify the connection verify the version. 
Uh, verify the version of the update information on the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so the current version you'll see down here of my camera is that 1.0 and we are going to 1.01. That's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then we're going to go ahead and let the software kind of do its thing. And don't be alarmed if during this, if your camera turns on and off several times, uh, that's why you need to make sure you have a nice full battery because um, who knows how long you know this will actually take, um, especially with larger updates like this one, uh, you wanna make sure that it's not running, um, running out of battery because if that was the case, then it could be halfway through installing the firmware and then it dies and then you brick your camera and you won't be able to use it. So uh, you wanna go ahead and make sure it is a full battery. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run for a little bit. All right, so now we can see that the update has completed. We can go ahead and hit finish and use our camera. If you have any problems at all, feel free to reach out in the comments below or shoot me an email, tj at tjhouston.com. Thank you and have a good day.